Dancing, singing, floats, and masks. These are what come to mind when we think of Rio's Carnaval. Masks decorated with bright paints and sequins covering part or all of the face are a staple of the event. The mask industry has a particularly long and colorful history in Brazil. Late artist Armando Valles arrived in Brazil in 1954 from Spain, and in 1958 he founded the Condal Mask Factory in Niterói. The factory was formerly run by the artist and his wife, but now it is managed by the company's artistic director, Gabriel Barros. It's not all samba music and parades in this line of work. The current economic crisis in Brazil has caused a reduction in orders as well as employees. Retaining workers and creating a commercial strategy depend on demand, which in turn depends largely on political and social issues. O negócio de máscara né, vem tendo sempre altos e baixos, né? a gente sempre foi se tentando se impermear no mercado de outras formas, fazendo fantasias, adereços é, e outros objetos. Né? Hoje a gente está num momento que estamos é, se adaptando a esse novo mercado também, né? as novas concorrências. Masks of all shapes and sizes appear at Carnaval. Animals, athletes, cartoon characters, even bizarre postmodern shapes and patterns, nothing is off limits. Demand for masks of political figures surged after Brazil's military coup in 1964. Founder Armando Valles quickly realized that political masks of Brazilian as well as foreign leaders generated a lot of interest. Hugo Chavez, Barack Obama, and even Osama bin Laden have been popular choices in the past. Times are changing, however, and now the factory is more focused on monsters and popular characters, like Clovis, the elderly Brazilian famously photographed at the previous World Cup after Brazil lost to Germany. Although interest in politician masks seems to be decreasing, fortunately, there are many, many other options.